Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I just wanted to give you a quick update on my time with the Golden Gate G310 fingerprint enabled FIDO2 security key. I've been using this on my keyring now for the past couple weeks and there's been a couple conclusions I've been able to draw. The very first thing that I'll speak to and get out of the way immediately is that this does everything that it says it's going to do. It allows for the logging in using your fingerprint and a secure method of accessing your accounts online. It is recommended that you have a backup key or some other method of logging into your account so if this key is lost or anything happens to it, you have another method of getting back in. Now, in my original video, and I'll link that up in the top right-hand corner there for you, I did mention that the location of the LED that indicates a successful or unsuccessful read is, in most cases, obstructed by the digit that you use to read it. So in my case, I am using my thumbs just because of how I would probably grip the key and then insert and tap. Um, and of course, as soon as you do that, the LED is essentially hidden from view and you really don't get a good indication unless there's one on the screen uh, whether or not you have successfully logged in or not. Now, the other thing that's kind of come up, or I wouldn't have discovered this unless I actually used the key for weeks, the actual ring that is designed um, to go through here. I am not entirely sure what this was explicitly designed for, but one thing that I did notice, and you probably can see it on the video clear as day, is that a standard sized key ring is too thick for the key to actually lie flat. Now, a any other key, including other security keys made by other companies, and in all fairness, we won't discuss which one that is in this video, because that's not the point, does not have this problem and has to do with how this hole has actually been cut into the plastic. And this plastic is, it's scratchable. That's one thing I discovered taking it on and off the ring is that it was kind of easy to mark this up. There is a way to get this key to lie flat and, this, and that's if you actually move it to where there's only a single piece of wire and then the key will behave, as I'm going to refer to it as. This to me is a bit of a nuisance. Like there are ways that we can solve this, of course. Uh, for example, we could put it on a much thinner key ring like this and attach it to a larger one. But this is something to me that I hope that by bringing up in a future version of this key, this would be something that could be uh, easily solved and uh, not be an issue. Again, if this is the worst thing that I can say about this, I think the product has done a phenomenal job, but it is something that, depending on who you are, it could get under your skin, or how you intend to carry this key um, might require just a little bit of planning ahead of time. It is an excellent product. It works very well. The read speeds are very acceptable for logging into an account, considering that the additional security that it provides over standard security keys. And it's a product that I can uh, recommend end with no hesitation whatsoever. So if you want more information or you want to order your own, I'll leave the link in the description down there. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. And if you like this sort of content, I'll ask you to look at these four uh, options down here. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified about future updates to security key and other computer security products like this one. And I'll see you next time.